Well, I know Rosa from actually when Catholic Charities came and told us that this family needed help. So when I went out, I met the two of them. Um, basically, I really did more with Leo because he was always there whenever I visited. But uh, Rosa has, um, she cleans homes. That's how she makes her living. Um, she cleans my house there for a while. She was doing my daughters and my sons, but they've moved. Um, and I think she does a lot of parishioners' houses. The family was living what they thought was the American dream. He was working. He was a foreman in um, construction, and they were saving for a house. And then he got ill, and he went to Duke. I believe it was leukemia he had. And he, he was working at that time, so the company, he had health insurance and all. But unfortunately, the company went bankrupt, so he lost everything. But Duke still took care of him. The treatment he received for this illness ruined his kidney, so he went into kidney failure. So he was going three times a week for dialysis. This, I don't know, this was going on for years after that. And then, uh, unfortunately, Leo got sick quite a few times, and uh, he was forever getting infections, and they had to change his ports. And so he, he died. He was a young man. He was younger than my youngest son. He was in his mid-40s when he died. Uh, leaving Rosa and the three children. So it was a di very difficult time for them. I would keep up with her. And then this last time when it was just so bad, I mean, the, the roof was in bad shape, the siding, everything, you name it. And then uh, I forget really who I got in touch with, maybe Ellen, Ellen Ferrone, and they decided they went ahead and they formed this committee, which was great. I've known Rosa for about eight years. I knew her husband also, who's passed away. Um, she's just an amazing woman. She's raised three children on her own and she works really, really hard. I've received an email from somebody else who's worked with Rosa for many, many years. And it just seemed like we needed to do something. We're very, a very, very blessed, fortunate um, parish and, and very giving. So I reached out to everybody that knew Rosa and um, we had a meeting here at St. Francis. And most of them were women, but they brought their husbands with them, which was great. And so it was like, well, what do we need to do? Well, we need a construction crew. We need money. And um, people just said, well, I, I, I can get a construction crew. And I says, well, I can go talk to the tithing committee. And um, then we sent out the word through the uh, migrant ministry and people showed up with coffee and donuts and an extra set of hands. Well, we're here at uh, Rosa's trailer. She does a lot of uh, great work for parishioners and uh, needed some update to her trailer. So we've basically been here the last day and a half with some St. Francis parishioners, our friends at Robinson Morton who helped organize a work crew for us. And we're basically reciting the whole trailer, giving it new insulation. So it'll be nice and warm and lower energy bill for them and nice new skirting. So I appreciate everyone's uh, work over the last couple days. Um, we dealt with the water line, um, heat facing it under the trailer. Um, she did mention one or two electrical outlets inside. So we had someone go in and take care of those, replace the outlets to make sure that they were shorted out. Um, and then we all also are gonna take care of the dryer vent, which was just dumping the, that humid air under the trailer, which isn't good. You know, maybe just by dumb luck, we get to the best color. I picked one color and they sent me a note, Sean, it can't be in by the 10th or 11th. We might have to push this off. I'm like, no, 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 I'll pick another color. So I pick another color and they call me back and said, well, that one's not available. I'm like, okay, well, let's start this way. Tell me what is available. <laughs> and so that's how we got the perfect color selection. Mis palabras no pueden expresar mis sentimientos ni mi, mi agradecimiento por toda la ayuda que me han brindado para mis hijos y para mí. Fue un regalo de Dios. Agradezco a todos y cada uno de ustedes, también a los trabajadores que pusieron mucho empeño. Así el tiempo fuera lluvioso, frío, <risa> hicieron lo mejor que pudieron. Quedó muy bonita mi casa. Para mí fueron tiempos muy difíciles, pero gracias a que conocí a la señora Aileen, que es la principal en todo esto, porque gracias a ella pude tener el trabajo que tengo ahora. Mis bendiciones para su familia. Y no sé qué más decir, yo es todo. Estoy contenta, estoy feliz y gracias a todos por su apoyo. 
it wasn't just five or six people. It really was the full community of St. Francis of Assisi. So thank you all. We appreciate it. Rosa appreciates it. St. Francis should be very proud of the people that come to this church, that they've always been there for a family that they didn't know who they were, for Rosa and for Leo and for their children.